take a moment to read the question. So f of x is the given function and a0, a1, a2 and a3 are constants. We have to find out which among the given options is the correct statement. How do we do this question? Well, first of all, let us write down the given expression for f of x. Now we consider two cases. First of all, let x be greater than 0. Now in this case, mod of x is equal to x. Therefore, f of x can be written down in this form. Now when x is less than 0, then mod of x is equal to minus x, which means f of x can be written down in this form. Now we see that in each case, f of x is a polynomial which means it is a differentiable everywhere to the right of 0 and also everywhere to the left of 0. The only problem point could be x equal to 0. So for differentiability at x equal to 0 we have to evaluate the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative and make them equal. So to find the right hand derivative, we differentiate the first line and we find that f dash x is given by this expression. Now at 0, this first derivative would be equal to a1. Let us now find out the left hand derivative. So we differentiate the second line to get this. So at x equal to 0, the left hand derivative would be equal to minus a1. Now for differentiability at 0, we must equate the two derivatives. The left hand derivative should be equal to the right hand derivative, which means a1 should be equal to minus a1. And that means twice a1 should be equal to 0. And that means a1 should be equal to 0. Now this also implies that the values of a0, a2 and a3 do not matter. Those numbers can be anything. Therefore, if we go through the options one by one carefully, we find that the correct answer is option C. Now let us see 